You're watching TJE TV. TJE TV News at 9 ish with Stel Fine and Rabbi Gotti Levy. Rabbi. Good evening. I'm Rabbi Gotti Levy here at News at 9 ish. Your Jewish Standard Time news station, and I'm Stel Fine. Tonight's lead story is about some surprising growth in the Jewish experience in 2011. Uh, not surprising, Rabbi Levy. Exceptional. Over the past decade, the Jewish experience has reached out to thousands of people in the metro Denver area. Last year alone, 1,500 people participated in their programs, inspirational, educational, and events. Hundreds of people are learning more about being Jewish every single week and loving it. And now to Rabbi Liban in the field. Thank you, Stel. We're here live at a Lunch and Learn with Rabbi Aaron Wasserman and his, some of his students. This is Kevin Hayton. Hi, Kevin. Hello. How are you, Rabbi Liban? Doing great. Thanks. So let me ask you, how long have you been a student of the Jewish experience? Probably six years. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And what do you think about, uh, what do you think about it? Have you enjoyed it? I love it. It has been great. Actually, originally I started off one-on-one -on -one with Rabbi Wasserman, and I really enjoyed that, and I started telling my friends about it, and now we have a group of about nine guys that meet once a month, and we get to study with the rabbi and learn about who we are and why we are. There's a lot of things that I love about the Jewish experience. One is the welcoming environment. It's the number one thing is that everyone, all the moras, all the rabbis, all the speakers are willing to meet with me on my level, which is very it makes me very enthusiastic. I love it. And I think our Talmud study here at the Jewish Experience gives us an opportunity to perhaps relive, to a certain extent, some of the pure Jewish study that our ancestors enjoyed. That's a beautiful thought. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Rabbi. We're now back to you. Thank you, Rabbi Liban. In addition to classes and events for adults, the Jewish Experience also runs a growing and very successful Sunday school program called the Sunday Experience. In its eighth year, with eight classes going from kindergarten all the way through eighth grade and over 80 students. That's a sure lot of eights there, Estelle. It is a lot of eights, Rabbi Levy. That's my favorite number, and it happens to be factual. I think the real news here is that the Sunday school is a Sunday school where the children actually look forward to attending it. Most Americans will tell you that they hated going to Sunday school, and they send their own children for the same painful treatment because it's tradition. Okay. You may have how, feel however you feel about America. We could say a lot of things about South Africa. Back to the point. The point is, let's go now live to the Sunday experience and see their tremendous success. Well, it's really fun because they teach us all about like the history of the Jewish people and how what they did and how they did it and why. And they tell us a bunch of different mitzvahs and how to do them and when. So. I like it because you do projects and then you learn about the history of the Jewish people and all that. And also I like um, the projects we do. Um, you get to learn stuff and you, make to, and, and you like to make projects after you learn. You feel like you're in like, like this is like your family and you can tell everyone anything that you want and you get to learn a lot. And, and I like to pray and I like to um, eat the juice. We like to play with kids. We love Eve and all the crafts we do, and we learn how to be a better Jew. Just coming back every Sunday and learning something new. My kids love the Sunday experience. They want, they're excited to come every week. They always learn something new, and we're very happy. That sure does look fun. It's not just about fun, still. It's about giving the children a love of Judaism and a strong sense of pride in being Jewish. They're getting that at the Sunday Experience. They sure are, Rabbi Levy. It's absolutely true. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more news, weather, and sports after this word from our sponsor. Hi 
Hi, this is Liz from Safe Kosher Systems. I just received an alarm from your kitchen. Is everyone okay? Yes, I think so. Yeah, what happened? A cream cheese bagel just uh-huh. fell in the challenge. Oh, no. Are the children all right? Yanki, Shmuli, are you all right? Okay, step away from the cholent. Has anybody eaten it? Oy vey, I'm plus. All right, I'm going to dispatch Rabbi Levy. Hold on. This is Rabbi Gary Levy. Uh-huh. 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 Liz, I've got some bad news. Mr. Schmeldman, you still there? Yes. I just spoke to Rabbi Levy. He said the cholent is trait. Oy vey! Hi, I'm Larry Halpern, president of Safe Kosher Systems. Had the Schmeldmans not had one of our Safe Kosher Kitchen Alarms, this could have been a real disaster. Avoid a disaster like this in your home by ordering one of our Kosher Kitchen Alarms today. Could you stop playing with your chair, Rabbi Levy? (sighs) Hi, we're back with an update on another popular Jewish experience program the Shabbos Dinner Club. Good friends, a delicious Shabbos meal and an inspiring Friday night ruach. It's a great way to turn your Friday night into a Shabbos. Recent studies indicate that over 275 people have attended the Shabbos dinners and that's just in the last eight months alone. There you go with your eights again. There are eight courses in the meal. That's only if you count the gefilte, and the fish as two courses, and you don't burn the soup. You're the one who burned the soup, Rabbi Levy. Let's go live now to the Shabbos Dinner Club where the event is about to begin. We're here Friday afternoon at the Shabbos house as the Shabbos Dinner Club event is about to begin. Candles are ready to be lit. The smell of gorgeous smell of chicken soup. Rabbi Liban, are you there? Rabbi Liban? Looks like we've lost him. Must be Shabbos. Let's go instead to the weather and traffic report. Rabbi Cunningham? Thank you, Stel. As for the weather report, due to some mamish gefeilich winter storms we're having, there's going to be 7 to 10 inches of shellig. The roads are shreklich. There's winds rolling in from the Mizrochi Siphonis. It's really going to be bad out there. There are some Yidden that are out there still on the roads because they come, they're come, trying to come to TJE classes that are canceled and they didn't check the website. If you ask me, it's Abyssal Meshuggah. Now back to you, Stel. That's Stel. Oh, sorry. Stel. How about that forecast, Rabbi Cunningham? Right, right, the forecast. This just in. In the forecast, we have great weather on the way for the big weekend of May 4th through 6th in Vail. It's the weekend of the Jewish Experience Spring Spiritual Retreat. Should be warm and inspiring with terrific speakers like Rabbi Mordechai Becher. Great food, full program for teens and kids. And did I say great food? Save the date for this amazing weekend of Vail Cascade. It only happens every other year, May 4th through 6th. Thank you, Rabbi Cunningham. We'll be back after this commercial break. Baking challah can be frustrating. All the ingredients, the mixing, and kneading can take hours. But now there's an easier way. This is so frustrating! With Eve Levy's Hala Magic. Now this is easy. One cup of Hala Magic. One cup of water. Cover. Voila! It's as easy as one, two, three. You too can make a challah in just an instant with challah magic.
This past year, the Jewish Experience sent almost 50 people on trips to Israel. The women went with the popular Jewish Women's Renaissance Project, led by excellent guides such as Eve Levy and Ellen Hutt. The trips included a combination of touring the historic sites of the Holy Land, learning with some of the world's best guides and teachers, and shopping. TJU also sent its first men's trip this past December. I didn't go, but I heard it was nice. That's great reporting, Rabbi Levy. And now, let's go to Jerusalem, where our foreign correspondent, Chaim, is speaking with Ellen Hutt. I'm Chaim, and I'm uh, with the TJE TV News at 9-ish, and I'm standing over here in Yerushalayim, Irak Kodesh, with Ellen Hutt. How are you doing, Ellen? Baruch Hashem, good. Ellen uh, is going to tell us a little bit about the uh, um, Jewish experience, uh, women's trip to Israel. Uh, Ellen, how, uh, how's the trip going on? The trip has been wonderful. The Jewish experience has been going on this trip for the past two years. We're taking a third group this summer, and it has been an incredible experience for women to go to Israel, some who have never been to Israel before, some who have been before, who have an opportunity really of a lifetime to have an experience where they can meet with teachers, travel together, bond with other women who are in Denver, and really be inspired by all that Israel has to offer. It's a fantastic opportunity. Think you can make it in Pulim? I can dress like a lady and come? We'll consider you, but we only have a few spots open. We're taking another group this summer in July, and I am recruiting women now and would love to have the women who are listening to this report join me on this trip. It's a great opportunity for everyone. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. I wish I can come. Alrighty, we're, uh, we're going to wrap it up and uh, back to you, Rav Levy. One of the most amazing things about the Jewish experience is the breadth of the programs that they offer. Kids or adults, youths, 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 teens, even Bobbies and Zadies. Next up is a special report about Bat Mitzvah, Bar Mitzvah programs, and teen programming. With youths. <laughs> Thank you, Stel. We're here live at the Thursday night program of the Teen Experience. We'll have Rabbi Menachem Zussman with us. Hi, Rabbi. How are you? We're doing good, thanks. Rabbi Zussman is the Jewish Experience's Youth Outreach Associate, working with uh, youth, teens, preteens, boys and girls. And uh, Rabbi Zussman, what makes you love this job? What is it? What I love most about my job is, is the boys themselves. They're so, so, they're so kind, they're so gentle, they're so edel. They're just, they're just a pleasure to be around. Yeah, I could see that, really. Um, now, how many programs is it that you run with these boys? Um, I run four programs all together. Um, a few of them are in the southeast part of town, and a few of them are here on the east side. And all together, there's around 50 or 60 um, teens that are in the programs. And we have uh, monthly programs that um, have more teens coming to them, such as a limo rally we had a few months ago. We had over, uh, over 80 teens come to that. And we have ski trips, paintball trips, trips to avalanche games, to nuggets games. And they're just, uh, they're just they keep me young, and they're a pleasure to be around. And they're just so sweet and so edel. And just I love all of them. Uh, that is really wonderful. Thank you, Rabbi Zosman. Thank you, thank you. Let's go now to a sport report where an interesting phenomena has developed in the field of challah ball. Challah ball. Challah ball. He moves. He's a Jewish football star. He moves. He throws a challah 100 yards. He moves. He never mixes milk with me. He moves. He never mixes with defeat. He's he Boy, it is my dream to play in the Super Bowl. Wait, that's not on Saturday, right? You got he bowled. He bowled. Now that's an impressive Jewish athlete. I don't think he's so impressive, frankly. Well, his beard is pretty impressive. Oh, are you a little jealous, Rabbi Levy? The Torah says not to covet. Shkach, <laughs> Stel. Whatever that even means. He we'll be back. Is your kitchen full of schmutz and chuch and hummus after a Shabbos smorgasbord? Then you need Grape Glow from the makers of MoxiClean. Cleans up all that hard to reach schmutz and chuch. Whether it's a tough gefilte fish stain or some unwanted leftover cholent. You can even use the same bottle for the bris. 
just give a few spritzes, and the whole kitchen will smell like Bubby's house after a wild night of Purim. And great for Pesach cleaning. You can clean out the chametz and make chorosis with the same bottle. If you call during our next 5,772 years, we'll send you the giant have six rabbis oversize of grape glow. But I'm just getting started. If you call in the next 18 minutes, you'll also get our exclusive travel size, perfect for the schmutz and chuch on the Naga hide in your car and your office. But you've got to call now. Here's how to order. Call now to order Grape Glow. Operators are standing by. Call now to order Grape Glow. Operator. Meanwhile, the stats are in on the Jewish Experience 2011 year-end financial report. Coming to us now in a special report, Rabbi Wasserman. Thank you, Stell. We are proud to report that TJE shareholders will enjoy increased spiritual dividends from 2011, as our numbers are soaring. TJE staff grew this past year to six full-time employees and 19 part-time educators and administrative staff members. TJE staff members drank over 200 gallons of coffee in 2011, resulting in 25% less sleeping hours. Together, the TJE team ran more than 25 ongoing programs and 25 classes per week. The Bar and Bar Mitzvah programs have over 20 pre-teens preparing for Jewish adulthood. TJE sent three separate trips of men and women to Israel with almost 40 participants. The Jewish University has over 75 adult students in it. The Sunday experience has grown to over 80 delighted, smiling faces. We served over 1,400 matzah balls at Shabbos dinner club events. Overall, TJE served 1,500 participants in our classes, events, and programs, up 50% from 2009. Altogether, the Jewish experience generated over 20,000 hours of Jewish learning last year. TJE TV News at Nine-ish conducted the following Mensch on the Street survey. We asked, how many classes do you think the Jewish experience offered in 2011? 20. Probably more than 100. About maybe 11. Probably 40. 50, a lot. <laughs> 200. A lot. Uh, 500. 64. 30. 1,200. 20. I have no clue, but there was probably a lot. Million, I don't know. And the real answer is the Jewish Experience offered more than 1,800 classes in 2011, and we're offering even more in 2012. And that's the numbers from here. Back to you, Rabbi Levy. Thank you for joining us at TJE TV News at Nine-ish.